Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another session of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, a blind playthrough and we are nearing the end of our side missions I believe, we're just going to crack on with the last few here, we've got Doctor at Risk, we have got uh, Missing Survey Team, Privateers, Strange Transmission, I will get to the Keepers at some point, but there's one left and I've got no sodding idea where it is. Uh, unusual readings will also be done. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how long these are going to take, but should be nice and quick. Hopefully going to those planets will also get us the more fetch questy kind of things. The Asari writings, the Turian emblems, light metals and the League of One medallions. So, um... Doctor at Risk, we'll start off with that. Head to the Newton system in the Kepler Verge. Newton system in the Kepler Verge. I have to keep saying it to myself because I will forget almost immediately. Kepler. Kepler Verge. Newton. So these are just little missions that we've picked up along the way. Um, warn the Doctor. I genuinely can't remember where... I think I've done these in completely Message coming in. wrong order. Patching it through. Thank you, Joker. I've received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. That does sound like a cover-up. Former scientists? Sounds like someone has a project they'd like to keep secret. All four scientists worked on a classified project on a coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. Okay, that definitely sounds suspicious. That can't be a coincidence. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Okay, cool. Um, somebody used... Somebody's weaponized thresher mold? Definitely something we're going to want to look at if someone's uh, able to do that. Mainly because I want to be able to do that myself. I have enough trouble fighting them as it is. If I could send one out to go and kill the enemy, then absolutely. Uh, gas deposit found. Got another writing there as well. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. So, landing on this. It's another green world. Though Onterom's surface is uncomfortably hot, its nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere and abundant shallow seas make it an ideal candidate for habitation by most species. Unfortunately, the orbit of the moon of Thonal has been slowly decaying since the system coalesced. Its proximity is beginning to have tidal effects, and its dynamo-like revolution through Onterom's magnetic field is generating increasing powerful electrical storms. While some have suggested emplacement of Mass Effect drives in an attempt to lighten the moon and correct its orbit, the scale of such a project, tens of thousands of drives, costing enough to bankrupt the governments of all the Citadel races, make it a pipe dream. A multiracial effort is underway to catalogue and preserve the unique genetic diversity of Onterom's vibrant young biosphere. Exogeny Corp, again, and Hayuan Genomics represent the Alliance's share of the effort. Okay, so I mean, if it's got a, a unique biosphere, then uh, does that mean there's going to be some little kangaroo deers? Um, okay, alien life. So we'll take Liara, because she likes to study shit, and Rex, because he likes to kill shit. You never know, when we stumble across something, we might want to eat it. I don't know. And if it is poisonous, Rex is probably going to survive. So, lovely green world, which usually means lots and lots of mountains, and me falling out of love with the Mako. Okay, what have we got on the map? Anomaly, debris, and underground facility. Well, we'll go to the anomaly first. So this is the Doctor at Risk, uh, which would be the thing that Hackett, I'm guessing, told us about. That there is a doctor here, Dr. Wayne, and somebody that's apparently able to weaponize Thresher Moors. 
I mean, I wouldn't like to have been the people that had to capture the ones for, for experimenting on. I'm hoping it doesn't mean we have to fight one. Like, ah, this is my pet Thresher Maw. It's like a Pokemon battle. Oh, hello. Are they bugs? Did I just run over the thing I'm meant to get? Nope. Down here. Turian Corpse. So it's hopefully being an insignia. Damn. There we go. Turian insignia found. Unclear what happened to this Turian. It had an ancient paper book with Bostra Outpost insignia printed on the cover. Well, it's like a hitchhiker's guide to something. Okay, well, that's that one dump. Move straight onto the debris. Let's have a little closer look at these bugs. They're not showing up red on the map, so I'm going to take a wild guess and say... I mean, this guy's dead, so I don't know whether they killed him or... It's a weird rock. Hello, bug. I'm going to stay away from you. Hello, indeed. That's... Kind of scary, like an armadillo ant. And judging by the size, or judging by the strength of army ants, I do not want to see an armoured one. So, we're going to leave before they turn on me. Let's head over to the debris and then the underground facility. It's not as bad as the other green planets I've been to. Nice thunderstorm effects in the background. It's a lovely place to set up. I don't know why it's going to take so much so much difficulty. Well, actually, there's one thing we haven't seen yet. Um, they, they mentioned that it's beginning... The heavy moon, is, or the close moon, is beginning to um, pull tides in. We haven't seen an ocean. I don't know whether it's because the um, water effects may be uh, a little hard to come by at this early stage of the game. Because, obviously, although it's remastered... You've got to think of what was it. I mean, I actually don't know what it was like back in the day. I don't know what they've remastered. But having water effects must be pretty tricky. Um, that's a big flat space. Okay. Crashed probe. Let's get moving. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to hack a crashed probe or something. There we go. There we go. Cryo explosive. Cryo explosive nine. No. Oh, it's nice and easy, which is worrying. And let's go to the underground facility, which has some red on the map. Just as I thought it might be a little easy. Well, okay. Someone's been watching me. That's a nice sniper red dot there. Sod off. I can snipe too. I've got a Mako. Mako is designed for sniping. It can stick to anything except for what I'm trying to drive on. Nothing else is moving. I think I might have killed someone with that one. Infinite ammo. Always handy. Yep, there's no more red dots, so let's head in. I don't know who I killed there, but probably would have actually been quite good to know whether it was uh, people or husks. Well, it's just a dude in armour. Looks human. And it's a dead guy. Okay. Always good to stock up on these. Lots of red dots. Okay. Now it gets fun. Let's just do a quick overload on that canister. And didn't hit anyone. <laughs> you can just die in the air. Neural dirt to you. Shoot you in the head while you're on the ground. I'm not planning on making this an even fight. 
sabotage the Krogan. Shit. Ah, I missed and got someone else. No, no. No, I can't handle a Krogan. Sod off. Thank you. I was going to just shut the door then and say nope to the situation. Nah, no, 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 no. Yep, derp it down. You dead. Good. Right, still got one more. No, you must. I don't know what that sniper shot was, but okay. Hello there. Have a sabotage. You can't fire at me. Flush her on cover, and then Liara and Rex can finish her off. It was a um, locked crate. Damn. Damn. There we go. A carp of nine and a lancer nine. Before Vermeer, we will definitely uh, go through everything and make sure everyone's got the uh, the best of all the equipment. For these uh, smaller missions, we can make do with what we've got. Raise a lancer and scorpion. I wonder if they go past uh, ten, actually. I've seen an X. Uh, Rex's armor, I think, is a rage X. Can't go through there. Which means we've got this one. Stay back! I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! Okay. He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! It's Corporal! Corporal Toombs! You don't get to lie! Not today! Today it all comes out! Okay, well he's a military man. That's good to know. He's not just some vigilante. Corporal. I'm Commander Shepard. My knowledge on military ranks is terrible, but I'm pretty sure I outrank him. So I should just be able to order him to put it down. Lower your weapon and step away from the doctor slowly, or I will fire. You fire, and there's a good chance my gun goes off. You'll be wiping your scientist friend off the walls. Toombs is clearly crazy. Please, officer, help me. Officer? You think I'm afraid to die? All that matters to me is killing the man who ruined my life! <laughs> Shoot him. Rex, eat this guy. Um, look, yeah, just tell me what's going on, because you might have a point. Um, could actually be, uh, like, Zabaleta, I think his name was. Um, yeah, it could be a little bit like him where he's got a bit of PTSD. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. Run tests on Thresher Maw attacks? I mean, they spit acid, and they are fucking huge. So they eat people. I'm not sure what te what test you can run on the wounds, but... Um, I'm also interested by how they were able to... Well, they probably didn't control them. They just didn't warn... The scientists were probably navigating the vibrations in the ground of when the Thresher Moor appears and didn't tell them so that they could monitor how they attack, so that we could get a little pamphlet of How to Kill a Thresher Maw, which I really need to read. So, it's clearly revenge. You're killing them because they killed your unit. You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Maw acid in your veins? Oh, the acid, okay, yeah. I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They treated Box me up like a, a lab animal. I only escaped because somebody destroyed Cerberus, their big organization. Me! This is justice. I did that! This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? Oh, I want to do it. Okay, whoa, whoa, no, hang on, hang on. He said Cerberus, somebody destroyed Cerberus. So I have technically destroyed them. There's just this guy. 
and a couple of other scientists, I'm guessing, who worked for Cerberus. I destroyed Cerberus, he managed to get out. See, here's the thing. This isn't justice. I'm guessing that's going to talk him down. No, he should get a trial. We'll put him in prison. Let me do it. This guy clearly needs to work through stuff. Like, it, it, it would be me stealing his kill. Don't want to be an XP stealer. Sick and tired of them in League of Legends. But I, I want to do one of these because I think you get extra Renegade or Paragon from doing them. Genuinely, I want to just say, do it. Let him kill him. That's fine. But that could be kind of cool. So I'm going to say, let me do it. Let's get some Renegade. And let's say, hey, Tombs, I outrank you. I'm pulling rank. I'm going to shoot this bitch. Corporal, if you kill him, you're a criminal. Yes, but I'm yes. A specter. That, that's a much better way of putting it. Nobody will question me. Yep. You can't kill me. You don't know who you're dealing with. He killed my whole unit. I have to take him down myself. It's the last thing I have to do. Actually, I'm kind of happy about that because I can let him do it. But it's a good point. He's going to be a criminal if he does it. You have to live. You see, actually, because I know that the Paragon, the good options, tend to be at the top. But I could actually swap the top and the bottom there, because go ahead then. It's kind of a renegade thing to do. Whereas you have to live, you have to go through your days. Seems quite good. No, I, I, I'll stick with what I kind of wanted to do, actually, and actually let him do it. If you really want to do this yourself, I won't stop you. <laughs> Mr. Tubes, please! We had no choice! Cerberus scum. They had to die. You get it, right? I had no choice. But it's okay now. Now the scientists are just like my unit. No survivors. Can you join our team? What? No! No! No, no, no! <laughs> I didn't what no You could have been the new Jenkins well technically you died so you are the new Jenkins but you <laughs> uh, shouldn't amuse me as much as it does. Um Oh no I, I liked you I should have said you have to live Shit Tomb's corpse slumps to the floor. His face, pinched with rage just a few moments ago, appears peaceful. He resolved the situation in his own way. You salute the corporal's body, he deserves that at least, and turn to leave. He does deserve the salute. He survived. He was put in a trap by these scientists. He came back for revenge decided his job was done. I imagine that could have gone better. Another successful mission by Commander Shepard. Hackett's going to stop asking me to do this stuff. I mean, I'm kind of glad I let him do it. I mean, even, even just the... He now looks peaceful. Report to hack... Oh, shit. Gotta go report to daddy. He's gonna tell me off, isn't he? Uh, let's just find where the next one uh, is. Variable mineral... Minerables? Also some minerals. Missing survey team. Travel to the Anten Anteus system in the Hades Gamma Cluster. That is a news vids indicate that a survey team in the Hades Gamma Cluster recently dropped out of contact. Go to the Hades Gamma Cluster and find out what happened to them. So that would be, I think I'm pretty sure I picked that up on the radio on the Citadel. So, Hades Gamma. Message coming in. Patching it through. 
I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. Is it okay? It's unfortunate both the doctor and Toombs died, but I know you did your best under the circumstances. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. I did my best under the circumstances. No, I completely agreed with this Toombs guy. Like, I, I literally egged him on. I must be pretty, uh, pretty selective with what I put in these reports. Just like, oh, I dove to save him, but could not get there in time. No, I was literally there going, I want to kill this guy. Go on then. <laughs> Gave him the choice. I can do it if you wish, so you don't get in trouble. He went, nah, I'm going to kill him. So, yeah, you, you go, man. You go, man. All Fight the power. Go kill them. Plover. Uh, Matriarch's writings. Is that the last one? I do believe so. Uh, heavy metals. Hunidir. Cannot land on it. Cannot survey it. I can land on Trebin. Just make sure there's nothing else. Did I do that one? No, I did not. Vemel. A rare element found. Okay. Let's go sit on Trebin and... I oh, didn't read actually what the planet was, but it looked rocky or deserty. Okay, I always bring Ashley and Caden. We put Liara and Erd not... Erd not... Uh, Liara and Rex last time. Actually, that's a good point. We we call Tally Zora and Araya Tally, Garrus Vicarian Garrus, Liard Sony Liara, Caden Elenko Caden, Ashley Williams. We sometimes call Williams, but that's more of a, a formal kind of surname thing. We do call them Ashley a lot, but we call Erd not Rex Rex. I'm wondering if that's like the. Um... Uh, Chinese way of sort of you put the surname first and then the first name last I'd ask him but I really don't think he gives a shit so Garrus and Tally let's see what a mix you make we have no biotics so I'm hoping there's not like a biotic thing we have to do here let's just tech and kill our way to victory I mean me and Tally are actually pretty damn similar we're both engineers Ah, the desert. Okay. We have got an anomaly, a research base, a debris, and an, and an anomaly. Let's go to the anomaly first. We'll leave the research base for last, because the anomaly seems to be the uh, collectibles that we have to get. So we'll skirt around the uh, research base. wide open place here okay so these are going to be like uh, desert sort of you know, Sahara like be nice to see some other wildlife actually on um, on these we saw the kangaroo deers we saw the weird armadillo bugs it's basically the last airbender where it's like ah oh, this is an armadillo pig this is uh ah, no 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 <laughs> <laughs> when I want to know, that's not the wildlife I wanted. Oh, fuck off. Fuck right off. That is... Shit. Strafing, strafing. Boosting! How are you able to read a target? You're a fucking worm. I should be able to boost out of the way of you. You should not be able to hit a moving target that well. Okay. Last airbender, yeah, 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 armadillo pig, whatever I said. Whatever narration I'm doing is probably going to stop and be replaced with screams. Come on, pop out, you fucking worm. Just saying, like, Tombs, you could have helped me out with this, man. You could have been part of the team. You could have been, like, sorting out your PTSD by going around hunting thresher moors. Or I could stay at home and you could... What? Shit. Tentacles. What? Nah. Why is it chasing me? Stop chasing me!
I'm just saying, I am a leader. And I should be able to delegate to my team who fights what. Like most managers, I don't do the work myself. This is quite clearly tally driving. Garrus on the gun. And Shepard is in the boot, just sort of going, go team. Come on. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Did I get it? I got it. Yeah, son of. I do not like Threshamores. I don't. Okay, so the X on the map was literally just a Threshamore is here. Fantastic. Thank you so much. An anomaly. Giant fucking worm is there. Better be fucking good. Oh, shit. There we go. Turin Insignia. Okay. Oh, these insignias better be worth stuff. Like, if I get to the end of the game and no one's just gone, I need Turian insignias or we're all going to die, I am going to be pissed. I want to see a matriarch that needs her writings back. I want to see a Turian that's missed his insignias. I want to meet the League of One and I want them to go, damn, I lost my fucking medallions. I'm not sure who I'm collecting gases for, but we're collecting gases for someone. Whew. Okay. I take back what I said. I don't want to see any wildlife. I want to be left alone. I want to be the only biological matter on this fucking planet. However, I'm more than happy to find this extra piece of debris. Another gold deposit for us to live like kings and queens. Nope, just plutonium. Just your average, run-of-the-mill, little tiny block of plutonium. Like... Okay, we don't actually pick it up. Okay, I was just about to say, are we just going to have plutonium in the fucking Mako? Because I think Rex will be the only one that survives that. So we put a little beacon down, I'm guessing so somebody else can collect the plutonium. There's a lot of dangerous shit we come into the hands of. What's this? Oh, hey, 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 scavengers. Fuck off. I'm Commander Shepard and this is my junk. Sort off. This is it. This is entirely important. This is going to save the day from Saren. Damn, they better do. It's fucking difficult, this one. Okay. Oh. A medical exoskeleton, some tungsten rounds, and some proton rounds. That's what you were scavenging? I killed, like, eight people for that? Your car looks better than a Mako. Can I have that? Because I've seen a couple of those ones around. I'm guessing the idea is that this is the new military version, but... This sucks, so I kind of want something else. However, the gun I want to keep. The gun is amazing. Unlimited ammo and sniping with rockets. That'll do me. Oh, hello. Lots of shit. Okay. What the fuck is it? Transmitter tower. This device is transmitting tight beam signals into geosynchronous orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS satellites, causing them to crash nearby. Okay. Yeah, I get you. Just sort of Someone's doing some secret stuff here, and they're disabling all of the um, satellites that can kind of scan the planet. It would do some good to turn it off.
Have I leveled up at all? I think I have, yes. But I still, really, I, I let Tomb shoot a dude. Surely that gives me another point. Okay, we've got... Hacking, damping... Oh, is that the Neural Derp? Which one's the Neural Derp? Medicine. Let's up the Neural Derp. Okay. Garrus. Let's get you up to electronics. And... Ooh, you've got a lot. Okay. Let's have you with some basic armor upgrades. And then let's upgrade your hacking. So you can hack more Geth. Okay. I am getting a little worried about the Charm and Intimidate, but I'm, I'm hoping that, um, I mean, I could be getting worried for wrong. I'm imagining Vermi is like the start of the end, but there's not going to be too much after that, so... Because it's the last sort of mission we've got, and we got given it whilst completing the other ones. So I imagine after that we're going after Saren. Um, yeah, just not having both of them filled out, I'm worried I'm going to miss out on something. But... You never know. We've got two facilities. One of them is not the objective. One of them is. So, of course, let's go to not the objective. Securing point. Let's see what's here. Tally and Garrus, you got my back. Let's see what we've got going on under here. This is just reminding me of being kept in the room with a nuclear bomb. Hello. Take cover. Well, that's a lot of red things. Husks? Oh shit, let's just draw them over here. Come on. Over here, lads. Can I overload that now? I can. And it does nothing. One time I should have brought Rex. He has a fucking shotgun. Oh, wait. Tally has a shotgun. Tally, take point. Neural up. The survey team must have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Okay. Long gone? Oh, it must be in the other one, then. Stiletto 10. Naginata and Avenger. I mean, what the fuck is that? Oh, hang on. On, um... Ah. Ferros, I believe. Wasn't there something like this, and then the Geth, um, were there, and I think we had Tally, and she said that they're praying. That's like what the Geth pray to. Hmm. Just some religious machines. It's fine. They're not fanatic, I'm sure. Anything else? Oh. <laughs> okay. Overload. Fish in a barrel. Oh shit! No, that was that one wasn't meant to open as well. I did not open that one. That accounts for all the Exogeny survey team. They were converted to cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from Geth territory is a mystery. Hmm. Clear. Okay, so, I, I mean, I guess Saren could have done it. I, you know, the Geth and Saren have been working together, so if the Geth turn around and go, hey, we need these uh, spiky things, spiky doodads, but we need them everywhere we can't go, and Saren's like, hey, I'm a spectre, I can do whatever the fuck I want, let me just plant them everywhere. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Shit. There we go. 
Striker, Colossus, and Colossus. Oh, hang on, the Colossus armor might be uh, good for someone. Oh, look at that. Oh, the red and black. Hell yeah. Uh, then we've got... I'm just going to pick this for aesthetics more than anything, I think. So... I mean, that's just infinitely worse than the Mantis, isn't it? Oh no, I'm wearing some more sound different. Okay, there appears to be a... Yeah, so that's going to be the better one, isn't it? Uh, Mantis 9. And you have got... Oh, the Colossus was quarrying armor. Oh, Tally prepared. Oh, I hope this looks good. Oh, look at that. Colossus armor. We have got a team. I need Colossus gladiator armor now. Although, actually, if we have Rex in our team, he's got black and red armor. Well, that's the rage. Tally, you look badass. Right, you know what goes well with new armor? A new shotgun. Have an Armageddon 9, baby. Um, Garrus can also have a new sniper. We've got the Harpoon 9. Uh, Avenger. That's much worse. Yeah, cool. Man, have a, have the... Have that one. That's much better. Okay. Just give Tally a new pistol, because she's got a Kessler 1, and she can use pistols. So let's give her a stiletto. Okay, we are sorted. Look how badass we look, Tally. Garrus, get with the program. I'm not going to take you out unless you're wearing black and red. It's all about the uniform. Peer United, a united front of cross-species creatures. Or as Ashley would put it, animals. So I'm guessing that the Geth are going to be in the other place, or have at least left one of their uh, totems or religious sort of artifacts, plinths. Something was in here and then was taken elsewhere. Luckily, just over there is a lovely settlement. Okay. No bad guys. Nobody's been here for a while. Okay. Malfunctioning object. I'll take your high explosive rounds. Nothing else in there. Medical kit. Nothing else in there. Oh, okay, hang on. I'm pretty sure I was actually meant to come here first. Okay. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Okay. So I've done it the wrong way round. I'm meant to come here first, find out, oh, they found something, and then go and chase them up to find that they've all been turned to husks. Okay. Well, I guess we're kind of done then. Matriarch's writings are no longer there, so we are good there. Two more Turian emblems, one more Prothean artifact. We're getting through them. Uh, privateers. Uh, Garoth, that was the guy outside the Citadel, right? Uh, no, outside the Citadel, outside the Council Chambers. Right at the beginning. Saying, I'm worried about my brother, can you check up on him? Oh, I'm hoping that's not a timed mission, because he's dead, man. He's dead. He's so dead. But, as Hackett would say, I did everything I could. Just realised I didn't look where the mission was. We've got... 
privateers go to the Strenus system in the Horsehead Nebula cluster. Horsehead Nebula. So yes, we've got to find Garoth's brother. With, if I remember right, was on a ship. Look for the Horsehead. Horsehead. Ah, Navaria, going back to our old stomping grounds. Strenus. Again, I'd love to know how long it takes to get from planet to planet, because do we just fly over there to the nearest mass relay? Hour, at most. And then get rail gunned in seconds over towards somebody else. Zawin? Complete. Thessalgun. Trellin. And... Antitara. Gas deposit. Got another planet. Been here? Yeah. Strenuous system. Uh, wait, something was there. Unknown. <laughs> Unknown. Unknown. MSV Majesty. The Majesty is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. The ship is a derelict. All compartments are exposed to space, and the fusion plant is leaking. The damage is consistent with ship-mounted mass accelerator fire. Private owner, Captain Wilhe Willem, or Wilhelm. A faint trail of radioactive particles, possibly exhaust from a sublight nuclear engine drive, leads towards the nearby planet of Zarwin. So I can go then. Ah, okay, right. Level 1 coal, that hazard. Zarwin has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The surface is frozen, mainly composed of cobalt with deposits of copper. Planet-side conditions are hazardous, with constant ice storms racking the surface. Lovely. We're about to get cold. So, who does the cold not bother? Other than that poxy Disney princess. Ashley is a hardened, badass bitch. And Rex, you're just chunk as fuck. Let's bring you two. Ashley, I'm not sure what armor Ashley's got. I know it's not Colossus, it's not red and black. Beautiful snow. So. Badass. Okay, we've got... Yeah, you're wearing the best armor by far. Predator M8. Even though I've got the Liberator X, it's not as good. Yeah, it's not as good, man. Coming all the way down. 4300... Oh, that's Krogan heavy armor. Yeah, that, that would work. Be impressed if you can lift that. Okay, Predator X, Predator M it is. Uh, do you need an assault rifle? No, you got the breaker. Oh. Breaker 9, but we've got the Kovalyov, which has higher heat sink, higher damage per second, and only a slightly lower accuracy, so let's go with that one. I'm Rex. You have a shotgun. My very own Spectre Gear shotgun. We will head back to the Citadel actually and go and buy basically all of the Spectre Gear. If there's a Spectre Omnitool, a Spectre uh, Biotic Ampy thing, uh, we will collect it all and we'll kill Saren because it's likely Saren's got the Spectre Gear as well. So we're going to need to at least match him in equipment if we can't and match him in numbers. Insignia, the fragment is appears to be from an old model freighter. Part of it is marked with the Shatty Outpost Insignia. Chatty, Shatty. Okay, whoa, there's lots of stuff here. Let's go around a big Okay, mercenary camp. We'll go there last. And then yeah, uh, anomaly, abandoned camp, anomaly, and some debris. Do a big loop around this area of the planet. 
I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it's too cold for a Thrasher Moor, but... I'm pretty sure when we were doing the Geth mission, there was a snowy planet and there was a Thrasher Moor on there. I'm hoping there's not, like, a Thresher on every planet. And if you go up... Fucking hell! So, oh, fuck off. This. Never do side missions. You meet fucking worms. Okay. Fucking tentacles. Kill. Can you kill him? Yes, you can. Hello. Okay, ramming them does nothing. Also, I am on fire. I'm being chased. Okay, so they, they, they hit me, so I can't just ram them. Nope, I'm up a hill. You can't come up a hill! You can't come up a hill! Run! I am on fire! Fire is now quite significant. Rex is probably burning. I mean, it's offsetting the cold, if anything else. It's like we don't have to have the heater on. Can I heal? I can heal. Can I shoot while healing? I can't shoot while healing! I can't boost! I can't boost while healing! Are you kidding me? No! No, I've been relying on that boosty, 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 boost! Okay, good, good, good. Okay, should have checked that before we did it. Aha! Fooled you! Come on! Okay, it's gonna chase me, it's gonna chase me. Oh, there's still fucking... Death to the tentacles. Oh, come on, I got that. There we go. Yeah, stop chasing me! I'm not sure if killing the tentacles does anything. Uh, stop chasing me! How do you know where I am? You're underground! Holy shit, this thing has a turning circle! Jesus! Turned on a dime! Not again! No, 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 no! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, <laughs> he headed me off! Holy shit, this thing's intelligent! Is there any chance I could get you to fight the Geth? Oh shit, I'm on fire again! No, don't, because I can't heal the Mako, I can't repair it and boost. Oh shit, well fucking... Okay, is it... Is it up? No, no it's not! That was the wrong time to repair! I can't boost! It's chasing me and I can't boost! Run! Drive! Finish fucking repairing, you moron! Did I get it? Did I get it? No, I didn't! Eat it! Yes! Suck it! <sighs> okay! This had better have the best Prothean artifacts known to Matt. Fucking hell. Oh, come on, I didn't do this to get met with this sort of level of puzzle. There we go. Snowblind rounds. Kinetic coil and medical exoskeleton. So, nothing. Uh. <laughs> I fucking hate Thresher Moors. Still, I learned. You can't... Oh, going the wrong way. Can't heal. No, can't repair the Mako and boost. You have to detach the boosters in order to get to the parts that are on fire. I do feel like Shepard's one and only job in this thing is basically to just have a fire extinguisher when a Thresher Moor comes up. Other than that, he's a passenger. What is over there? Oh, no, that's the... No, no, we don't want to go there. That's going inside. I'm going to skirt around. 
I swear to God, if there's another Thresher Maw here. I mean, how bad is, like, okay. So your brother's gone missing. What's the worst? That, well, he's dead. You know, he's probably dead. Threshamore. Threshamore. Corpse. Is that a corpse made by a Threshamore? It appears this person was trying to mark the nearby mineral deposit when he died. Or was killed. Killed by what? A thresher? If so, know how you feel, buddy. Oh, it's dead. No. <laughs> what have we got there? What got... Ir Iridium? Iridium, okay. It's not plutonium. I miss the days of just picking up massive hunks of Ready. gold. I'm not sure what you got killed by, because, you know, the, whoever killed you didn't actually use the uh, mineral deposit at all. Unless the Thresher Moor roams around. I have to control with my left hand while I'm driving. One-handed driving. It's all good. Aha. This is the abandoned camp. generator? Discovery. There appears to be no one left at this camp. The generator is still functioning, but there are no signs of the former occupants. The camp's computer notes several locations of interest. What is it? Giving me extra? Oh, it has! Hello, sir. So we've got two more mineral deposits. Okay, cool. Maybe we uh, turn all the mineral deposits into a gun that kills thresher moors. The Threshermore 3000. It's like a Luigi's Mansion vacuum cleaner. It just sucks them up and spits them out at enemies. Pretty sure we can get a lab on Novaria and get that working. We can probably fund it. What? Ding. Oh, is that gold? Is that a hunk of gold? Oh, cobalt. Got it. I know nothing about cobalt. Other than the colour. Uh, guessing it's probably not like gold. Light metal surveyed. Anomaly. Well, the last anomaly was a thresher mort. Not that I'm transfixed with these things. The beacon was a geth trap. Well, well, let me guess. You got a robot thresher more? No, you got a fucking camel. And I missed. <laughs> I'm trying to ram it and I missed. It's a completely non moving camel. Geth armature. Just do some drive bys. I mean, they're pretty strong looking, but they do just fall over whenever you turn. I mean, I'm ramming it with a Mako, to be fair, but. I'm the kind of guy who'll never get around. I'm the wanderer. I'm the wanderer. I wander around, around, around. There we go. Well, get around. Get off. Wrong gun. And ram it. Finish that one off. Point blank range. Okay, hardy little buggers. Run up a cut! So I think knocking them down doesn't actually hurt them. It just knocks them down. Like this one. Hello. Fuck off. Get to trap my ass. I mean, if they are really smart, I'm really surprised they haven't actually just taken the taken the scans of a Mako and 
put a geth in it and removed like the seats and just put like a, a hard drive or whatever is powering the geth. Because technically, geths don't have to be by people. I mean, why are they? Being bipedal technically... It technically isn't the, the best. Blow a leg off, you can hop around. I imagine for things like this, um, wheels would be better or tracks. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, there was a cavern into a pit there, but palladium. Are you going to poison Iron Man? Palladium poisoning. Painful way to die. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of palladium. Good. I can make my own arc reactor. And now, finally. Oh, finally, before the mercenary camp. Got one more anomaly, I believe. A lot to do on this planet, actually. Got Geth, got Thresher Moors, and this has got a lot of red shit around this one, so. More Geth. Can we attack at a distance? What do we got? Is that a person? That was a person. Oh, hello. Whoa, hey, hey, okay. Let's chat a little bit. Am I hitting it? Got it. Mako is so amazing. Alliance Heavy Turret. The Alliance turned on me for my roguish behaviours, or... Have they been turned to the other side by a nefarious group? There's another red dot there. I want to see who it is. Mercenary Sniper. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello. A massive rocket for one person. Probably overkill. But... Boop. Okay. And now we've got... This is the... Whoops. Can we go in here? We can. Okay, this isn't the final place. Oh, it is the final place. We've got Turian Wreckage. After this. Okay, so I actually missed that. So this is the final place. I thought we were doing a big loop round, and I've parked in front of the entrance. And Commander Shepard, as amazing as he is, can't jump. Okay, here we go. So we just got mercenaries in here, I'm guessing. Well, I've brought my two best fighters. So. Switch weapons. So we got Ashley Assault Rifle. Rex. And would you? Let's do this. Go, go, go! You there. Die. Rex, finish the one on the floor. I trust you. I said finish the one on the floor. No, I'm shooting, Ashley. My bad. Sorry, girl. They have Krogans. They have two Krogans. Someone kill the Krogans for me. Rex, you're getting punched in the back of the head. Damping? I think that does biotics. Rex has biotics, so maybe some Krogan do. I'm getting sniped in the fucking head. Look out! Mm. Think I got it? Good. Well oiled machine, guys. You must die. No, I mustn't. You can't snipe me if you don't have a gun. Okay. We can go in the room back here. There's one more person I'm guessing upstairs. So we're still a Medigel. One Medigel. You must die. Shut up. The fuck you shooting at? No, we can't shoot through the ceiling, guys. Wait until we get up there. And... Fall down on your face. There we go. Perfect.
Okay. That's Cri it. Bag him and tag him. The assassin. What was that? Was that armor? It was armor. Medium armor. Nowhere near as good. Good for Caden. I think Caden has medium armor. So we'll make sure we equip him next time. Right, what have we got? Secure storage locker. Ugh. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Tornado, Banshee, and Avenger. That was Captain Wilhelm. Search body. Anomaly identified. You have discovered the corpse of Captain Wilhelm of the MSV Majesty. His stiff fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. Is that the one we were trying to do? Privateers? Return to Citadel Tower and tell Gareth of the fate. Okay, well, we'll do that last. We'll go through the other missions still. And unfortunately, I'm really hoping these aren't timed missions. Go back and just like, well, duh, of course he's dead. It's been another three months since I asked you. My bad. But we have a Turian wreckage to go through. No time for weeping. We have another insignia, I'm sure, to find. Into the Mako. Something we should have done first. Find the Turian wreckage. Big old white planet here. Nothing like venturing on Hoth. Hopefully find an ATAT somewhere. And nothing like finding a big cavern with a Turian wreckage. So. This isn't it. This is one we've already done. Wait, is it? Yeah, we started there and then went round. I'm smart. I I am so smart. That's why it said Turian wreckage and not anomaly. We'll edit that out. We'll edit that out. Make it make it seem like I'm a lot smarter than I am. But in the meantime, got strange transmission. Head to the Centuri system in the Hawking Eater cluster and investigate the strange biotic commune. Okay, uh, I read it, I said it out loud, and completely forgot. <clears throat> Centuri Hawking Eater. Okay, Hawking Eater Cluster. Argos Row, Gemini, Maroon, Atticum Beta, Voyager, Hades Gamma, Armstrong, Century. I'm sure there's some of these I've never actually been to. Hawking Eater. Centuri, or Century. Okay. Ciao. So we got message us. coming in, Commander. Big surprise! The Alliance needs you again. Well, Shepard. I'm their best. This is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. Major Kyle, your commanding officer, Torfin, has set up a small compound in the Hawking Eta cluster. He's attracted a number of biotic followers. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance. And we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. My commanding officer at Torfin. Let's do this. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. Tell me about him, and tell me about Daddy Kyle. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics okay. feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. Well, we can't let him go on like this. 
it wasn't the Alliance, but there was the mission where um, the L2s wanted reparations. So in a way, they kind of have a point. Maybe I can use that to kind of talk them down, like, hey, I kind of sorted out this problem before. If you come back with me, you'll get tons of dosh. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. Right. What else can you tell me about Major I mean, Kyle? I'm a bit of a dick. He's not the same man you served under. He feels responsible for the Alliance soldiers who died at Torfin. His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. I'm not going to say I'm going to kill him. I don't want to. I want to talk to him about Torfin because... I mean, they were kind of... They were kind of... He was my commanding officer. But it was me that kind of sacrificed them. Or at least my actions got them killed. So yeah, I'll just I'll look into this. I'll deal with Major Kyle for you, Admiral. We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. Okay. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Okay, so... We are going to now... Have a look around here. Tamahera. Another medallion. While scanning the planet Therapto, you discover a tiny moon with some odd readings. Further scans by Chief Engineer Adams revealed a destroyed escape pod. Your salvage team recovered the components and found a League of One medallion. Oh, is that something there? Unknown. Metallic asteroid. Survey. Heavy metal found. Survey Kankatra. Light metal. Is there something over here? I think that's everything. Yeah, we did that one. So we've got two here. Press, press up, and Clendagon. Clendagon is the planet, and then Press up is the moon. Press, <laughs> press Rop is the moon of Clendagon. It is a frigid, barren world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The crust contains plentiful deposits of heavy metals. The appliance has opened bidding for the moon's mineral rights, but exploitation will be complicated by the system's proximity to the five kiloparsec ring around the galactic core. The ring is an area of intense star formation and too dangerous to travel safely. Pressrop's landscape is a nightmare of jagged, overlapping ridges and geological shock zones created by some ancient disaster. This has not deterred a generation of illegal wildcat miners from attempting to exploit the moon's mineral riches. Unfortunately, many have lost their lives. Oh joy, it sounds like a lovely place. So... Okay, we go... Oh, we've brought everyone out now, so we're going to go with Old Faithful, Ashley and Caden. A nice mix, a little bit of tech, and a tiny amount of biotics. Caden brings the biotics, he can throw some shit when he needs to. But I electrocute shit, Ashley shoots shit. It's a good team. But we are on the moon, so... Got an anomaly, a biotic compound, and some debris. Let's go for the anomaly. Uh, actually, we're going to go over here because there's something on the map that is not showing up on our. There's something on the mini map that's not showing up on the big map. Oh, let me guess. A Thresher Moor? That. Is that a battleground? I don't. I don't want it. It. Oh, I don't. Please just be something that No, son of a car. Uh. How many times we're gonna have to teach you, old man? All 
Right. Okay, we've, we've perfected this now. We're Threshamore killing machines. We just strafe, we strafe, we strafe. We do not repair. Come on. Just try and miss all the acid. So good. Ah, tentacles. I'm unsure if the tentacles are actually for anything or if they're just to hit us as we go around, try and restrict our movement. Does destroying them give me anything extra? I've lost the worm. I've lost it. No, I found it! I found it! Damn it! It's able to hit us every time. It knows what I'm going to do before I do it. Run! Machine gun. Oh, sh I jumped! How did you know I was going to jump? Die. Death. Yes. 88,000 XP. Was that just literally something on the map? Just to go, hey... Fucking Thresher more over here. That's, I mean, why is it on a moon? A moon is tiny. How does it get to each planet? It's the same creature. I imagine we're going to go into Thresher Moors a little deeper at some point. For the time being, that ah, lovely planet there, with a crack going through the middle of it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What the hell is down this ridiculously steep incline? No full damage. Let's just back it up. Ancient debris. Protean data disk. Uh, Turian insignia. Okay. I mean, we've got to be coming towards the end of that. So we've got Protean data disk. Still need one more. Valuable minerals. Still need quite a few of them, actually. Locate signs of battle. Need four more League of Medallion, uh, League of One medallions. Actually, still quite a lot. I will do my best to do them all, but I must admit, um, I am more one for the story than to do uh, sort of fe uh, what I call fetch quests, sort of the boring side missions that they're kind of like collectibles. Um, I don't hunt for achievements or try and collect all a hundred of these and you get the shiny gold skin. Uh, I love a story. Uh, or I just love um, just playing the game. FIFA or Call of Duty. And with this, I'm very much invested in the story. So I don't really want to just spend all my time uh, collecting shit. But whilst I'm here, I will definitely collect as much as possible. What the hell is that? Crashed probe. There we go. Incendiary and fusion explosive. Cool. A little nuclear bomb gun. That brings us to the biotic compound. With Daddy Kyle. And see how far he's gone from being my commanding officer in Torfin. Everyone so happily brings it up. It's obviously very famous. I've had journalists bring it up. I've had just random people bring it up. Hell, Jenkins, who had 20 seconds screen time, brought it up. Right at the beginning of the game. It's like, hey, you understand. You've got PTSD. Thanks, buddy. Somehow it makes the grieving process a little easier. I'm not an angry man. Right, well, there's no red dots. That's a good sign already. Oh, 
we'll just get this uh, mineral deposit over there because it looks like shiny, shiny gold. Father Carl, you are an idiot. Look at all this gold! I can melt this down into a statue of me. Damn it. If I could actually harvest it. There we go. I want that sent to the ship. I want... I was going to say I want something in my bedroom. I don't have a bedroom. Also, I'm leaving the Mako behind, apparently. I'm going for a jog. That's more important. I don't have a bedroom on the Normandy. Do we all just hunker together for warmth in the cargo bay? Put the Mako's heater on? Chill out, listen to some tunes? This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I'm here to see Daddy Kyle. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I served with him at Orphan. My name is Commander Shepard. Major Kyle knows me. I have to speak to him. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. The building? Building at the far end of the compound. Is there a building here? Oh, hang on. Yeah, okay, this looks like the one that was on uh, Mars. Father Kyle in here. I want to serve, I'll do this peacefully. Come on, Matt. Oh, I can talk to you. Hey. Those other men from the Alliance tried to kill Father Kyle. Oh. If you try to take Father Kyle away from us, you'll end up like those other Alliance soldiers. So if I try and get Kyle out, I'm going to have to massacre a bunch of biotics. Whereas if I let him carry on, I'm guessing everyone will live. What about looting? What are your thoughts on looting? Let's try it. Damn it. Stinger Brawler Avenger. Okay. Guessing we can just walk through. Lex on the map. We'll do some looting first, see if we can go left. We can go left. Hello. Biotic cultist. The Alliance wants to wipe us out. Father Kyle told us. Yes, that's very good. I'm just taking your shit. And now let's see. Right. Humans to human. I know you, the butcher of Torfen. Why have you come here, Shepard? Why can't you leave us alone? I don't like to go by that name. It's Mr. Butcher. Thank you. What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. They are not safe. They're going to get bombed from orbit if you keep killing people. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. Enough crazy talk is probably going to end up with a fight. And if I kill him, they're all going to do it to kill me. Unless I trick them. And I mean, we're in a room. There's no one else here. He's my commanding officer. Can I intimidate my commanding officer? Major. Major and commander. Ah, who outranks who? Oh, I wish I paid more attention in military school. Let's go the renegade option. I'm going to try and intimidate him. 
purely from an aspect, it's not really intimidation, it's more just blackmail of if you really see yourself as their father, then I will kill all your children if you don't come with me. Like, if you are actually their father, then that will be the end of it. You'll come quietly if I promise that they live. So I'm assuming surrender or they all die will basically be, if you come with me, I'll let them live. If you don't come with me, all your followers will end up dead. What kind yes. of father lets his children die? Come on, Daddy. No, this, this was my fault. My children are innocent, pure. Please, I never meant for this to happen. I, I'm Come sorry. with me. Sorry's not enough. No, I'm not going to push it. Sorry's not enough. Nope. Um, let's try and be a little good. You know, I intimidated him, but now I've kind of won. It's like, I know this is not easy. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait, if my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. The XP. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. Oh, okay. An hour. And there were what? How many people? 15? 20? An hour. You could set up some... Proper defenses in that time. I'm not sure I trust you. Let's see if he furthers it. I think it. it would be better if you came with me now, Major. I must do everything I can to keep any more of my children from suffering. This is the only solution. I don't believe him. I don't have much choice. I'm going to let you do it. But... Oh, I've got a feeling I'm going to be entrenched in a battle here. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. Damn straight. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Joker can have the Fifth Fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. Hmm. I do not. You should return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. They'll want to dispatch a ship to take him into custody. Yeah, and then I'm going to get a message saying... Another group of people were killed by Major Kyle, who had an hour to set up defences. The turrets mowed them down mercifully. Mercifully? Mercilessly. I'm not sure what merciful turrets would be. Fire pillows, maybe. Right. Oh, well, I guess we'll leave. They're letting me leave. I don't know. I think I should have gone the whole hog and just gone no. You gonna say anything different? Those other men from the Alliance. Yeah, yeah, tried yeah. They tried to kill Father, Father Kyle. Kyle. Hmm. Head back to the Normandy. And I guess we'll see if uh, Hackett tells me that we did good, we did bad. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. Never had any to doubt. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. It's a fine line, because I could just pick Renegade for everything. And it would be fun, and I'd have gone through there and just killed the shit out of them all. But I kind of like towing this line of just not quite... Like, I'm, I'm a, being a dick, and that is the point, you know, I'm ruthless. It's like, I've got a goal, I'm going to catch Saren. If some stupid villager is going to be in my way, then no, I'm going to kill him, run him over with the Mako, and then chase Saren. But I'm trying to do the right thing, so it's kind of like a chaotic good if in D, &D alignment um yeah chaotic good don't think i'm lawful evil but uh no just sort of i'm doing the right thing but just any fucking way i want which is how i'm playing the game so 
uh, the privateers. I've got to go back to Garroth. Uh, scan the keepers. Can go do one. And unusual readings. Hydra system in the Argos Row cluster is the last side mission. While on the Citadel, you uncovered an Alliance patrol report. One of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra system of the Argos Row cluster. Let me guess, a Thresher Moor? I'm hoping that that's it, like... I'm, I'm getting used to the pattern, you strafe. Oh, fuck. I've, I've forgotten what planet it is. I am an idiot, I shouldn't talk. There will be complete silence between Argos Row. Argos Row. Argos Row. Argos Row. Right, anyway, as I was saying, I'm hoping they're not going to get sort of bigger and badder. I mean, they are kind of the... They're the most dangerous enemy we've met so far. Um, obviously, you have to be in a Mako to take one on. So... It kind of makes sense that the Geth would kind of go, hmm, this life form... It's got it shit down. So... Let's... Message coming in. It. Patching it through. General distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Medical. Medical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support and emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Okay. So we've got. <clears throat> Metgos is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. It is a mineralogical treasure trove with concentrated heavy elements constantly being brought to the surface by volcanic activity. Metgos is inhospitable and dangerous, and expeditions must be well prepared to survive any length of time. With its high mass, heat-trapping clouds, and constant volcanic venting, Metgos seems well on its way to becoming a Venusian pressure cooker world. Surface temperature 169 Celsius. I'm English. I tan at room temperature. Ugh. I don't want to go here. Mako better have aircon, let's put it that way. So, we have got... Uh, oh, a medical centre. Let's bring Liara and Tally. They're sort of the, the two I'd attribute to medical. I know Tally's not necessarily medical, but she deals with a lot of tech. The Quarians, because the Quarians live on their ships... I kind of get the idea that every Quarian kind of knows first aid. It's a it's a very family orientated place because if they're all on ships, the military must mingle with the just civilian life. I can't imagine there's a huge distinction, or maybe there are civilian ships and military ships. Um, but I imagine like you know. Everyone kind of has to chip in. Uh, a little bit like a almost Amish society. I know it's completely against the uh, rule of thumb for uh, Quarians, where it's just full of tech. But in the Amish society, everyone chips in. Everyone does the work. You you clean everything. You do everything, and then you have your spare time. And I get the feeling that Quarians kind of can't afford to not do that. You can't afford to have a slacker. Turian corpse for a... Damp, damp, damp. I was never any good at Frogger. Begin with... No, I'm going to actually fail this one. Go, there we go. Turian insignia. I'm pretty sure we've got all of them. Do we get, like, extra points for collecting more than we need? 
Uh, let's go to the debris now. So yeah, the Quarians, like, I really like the idea of the Quarian sort of um, uh, culture in that it's everyone chips in, everyone does their bit, and all the, everyone, if they all go on a pilgrimage, it means they understand what sort of happens out in the real world. Although I wouldn't be surprised if the Quarians are kind of using the pilgrimage for a bit of a, um, almost a propaganda to stay on their ships. Um, I mean, Tally said uh, that she kind of gets treated a bit shit on the Citadel. Quarians aren't the um, flavor of the month, shall we say. So maybe it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, you all go on pilgrimages, bring us back something nice, like a stick of rock or a keychain. And whilst you're there, you'll also realize that Quarians are hated, so you should stay here. You definitely shouldn't leave home. Narration goes quiet whilst I concentrate on this. There we go. Um, it could be completely wrong, obviously, but it just sort of it's the it's the idea I get where it's if you live on ships. I mean, the fatality chance. Like, I I somehow doubt it's just a whole fleet of Normandies, like state of the art. There must be some pretty crap ships. And I'm guessing they must kind of need to buy more ships as their population grows. So, like, President Quarian, or uh, you've got the Admiral Board, the Captain Bird's Eye Board, whatever they call it, they go to a second hand ship auction and just kind of purchase some ships. He's like, yep, we've got a baby boom. A um, whole load of people have had some babies, so we are going to buy a second-hand ship. It was a second-hand Turian ship, only used by an old woman on Sundays going to church. Uh, 3,000 miles. And they go there over to... There is the wreckage. I do not see any survivors, though. Careful, Shepard. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, I didn't until you said that. Like, I... I'm going to go over to the debris first, but I'm guessing the Geth are going to kill me, or a Thresher more. I've got to work out what uh, another word that starts with TH that I can use for this episode title. It's also annoying me that the very first episode I did was Aliens and Visions, which isn't the same letter. I didn't know I was going to do this uh, alliteration thing at the beginning. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I'll probably go and change that, actually. Aliens and epilogues. Or, uh... What have we got? Other than the sun in my eye. Anti-vehicle mine. Geth! It's a trap! Was that an anti-vehicle mine I saw? Oh, shit, what? There's loads of them! Right, camel number one, die! Oh, you're just a man. You can just fucking die, can't you? There we go. Okay, we deal with the men first. Oh, sh what? They're airborne, I can't ram them. Shit. I think I've accidentally ran someone over. There we go, got them both. Right, who's the camel over there then? Oh, I went past one. I shot the camel, but I did not shoot the Gethy man. Now I did. Mm. Oh shit, missed. Right, let's just stand here and kill this one. Geth armature. Like, once you ram them, they're really not quite as scary. They just do this slow motion. Oh. Seriously, Geth. Make a six-wheel drive, Mako Geth. And all your problems will be gone. 
There we go, see? No problem. Oh, wait, wait. So it was an anti-vehicle mine I saw. Fantastic. Was that it? That was literally it. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Cool. So, hey, can you please come here and get assaulted by the Geth? Is basically what they were asking for, so... I guess that leaves us with nothing else. I've got the Prothean data disk, valuable minerals, locate signs of battle, privateers, which we've got to go back to the Citadel for, and then this Citadel's uh, scan the keepers. Four more League of Medallion medals. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Citadel now. I'll have another peek around. We'll go to the Spectres a uh, bit. And then see if there's anything else. Hand in the Groth mission. And yeah, I guess just see if there is uh, anything else. Getting a weird two-faced thing going on because of the sun outside. But it's England. We don't get much sun. So I'm embracing it. Uh, bring old faithful Ashel, a Ashel and Caden, apparently. It's my pet name for Ashley. It's, I call her Ashel, she calls me Skipper. We're a couple now, yes, just don't ask her. I promise you, we're working on the, the xenophobic or racism thing, you know. Tr trying to make sure the alien racism is kept indoors. I mean, she hasn't really said anything to other people, so... Maybe I won't take care of Commander, Katie. something no? you need? I have to go. Yeah. All right, see you. All right, see you. I won't take Caden with her. Let's bring someone else. Let's bring Ashley and Rex. You're my combat duo. Rex has got a hump, and Ashley usually has the hump. So uh, that's a, it's a good combination. Exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Oh, me and Rex. Presley Matt, yeah, you deck. flex, man. You show it. Come on. You've worked for that, man. Own it. So. I'm sure I won't find this one random keeper, Alliance but... Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. That was me. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Okay, good. I'm glad. So, Spectre, the green thing is a shop. So, Spectre requisitions. Let's buy some more Hamwa. Can I just not have scanned you? Can I scan you twice? Hello, Commander. Show me what I'll you've open got. the rare stocks. Show me the good shit. Uh, right, well, let's immediately just sell everything. Um, oh, we got tens. We'll sell all junk. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess I can mark things as junk, and then I can sell all junk. That would be way quicker than what I'm doing. Which is just... Okay, I've got ten and nine, so let's say seven... Nope. Okay, let's just sell all of this crap. Let's go to the top of eights. Let's make a lot of people out there cry, because I am not a completionist, and I am not, I am not one for maximizing my characters so let's go all the way up to nine and just get my s i've just realized i've got nine 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 okay i can't have more money than that that's interesting hello commander i have max monies so let's Show buy some shit i'll open the rare stocks for you commander Enjoy. i was gonna say i'm not a completionist i'm someone that just enjoys a game plays it i don't play the best players in fifa i play the players that i like um, I've had George Best on the wing and Harry Winks in the middle. It's just, they're players that I like. 
uh, Call of Duty. I have the gun that I like, the skin that I like, and you know, I I don't I don't try and power play. I'm I'm not the best at any sort of game. I just enjoy playing, as I I believe gamers should, and. I'm not looking for the optimum loadout, uh, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, I didn't look up classes beforehand to find out what the strongest class was. I'm very happy being an engineer. It's kind of like I'm a nerd shepherd, and I tell people to turn things off and turn things back on again, and I can fix the Mako, and you know, I, I let Ashley and, and Rex do all the fighting. So I will just sell things that probably should be kept and things like that. Uh, I'm actually just going to buy all of the Hamwa, Hamga stuff. Uh, let's just buy that. We've got money to burn, so heavy armor, medium Krogan armor. It's not as good as Rage 10, is it? So we'll leave it at that. Uh, and then, I mean, we'll have a quick check now. Uh, I need a good pistol, of which the Hamwa, or Hampu is the best. Uh, I need grenade launcher. Oh, I see. I should probably take the anti-thorium gas off. Cryo explosion, fusion explosion. I mean, yeah, let's just make it like a nuclear bomb. A little fusion explosion with my grenades. Feeling a bit spicy. Uh, I've got a Savant 10, which I'm, like, I've not seen above 10, so I'm kind of guessing that's good. Um, Predator. Nope, not as good. Not as good. The Colossus 9 is where we're at. Uh, Liberator X is just not as good at all. Damn, that Predator M armor, even though it's just 8 as opposed to 10 in other ones. Armax Arsenal. You must uh, make some good shit. So then we've got the sniper rifle, the pistol, the uh, shotgun, and the assault rifle is here. Again, the Kovalyov. Oh. Yep, that's the one I've got. So. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we have got the Hamwa. But it's not as good. Interesting. Okay, I thought I assumed the Spectre stuff would kind of be the best. Uh, shotgun. Yeah, we haven't got another one of them. So, uh, and then we've got uh, the amps. You've got a Prodigy Ten. Holy shit, Savant! Should probably give that to Liara, but she's not here right now. So here you go. Be a Savant. You are a savant Krogan. Enjoy it. Yeah, that's where we're at. Um, Garoth's brother. Or was it Garoth or Garoth's brother? Either way, he's outside the Presidium. Nope, that's the Presidium, the whole thing. Uh, the Citadel Tower is where it's at. Yeah. I guess I should probably check in on... Uh, I'll do some shopping, actually. I'll go to the markets, and then I'll check in on Udina and Anderson, see what they have to say. Benefits of playing with an Xbox controller, one-handed blank. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? <laughs> He's still missing. I have no idea. Unfortunately, he let a Wilhelm scream and died. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. <laughs> you were fooling yourself. Jesus, I'm not that harsh. This must be hard on you. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. I'm also That's sorry it took say, three months. Right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. His body was in there, wasn't it? So I kind of guessed that maybe we could actually deliver the body back to him. Maybe. Uh, teleport via that. Uh, Kahoku. 
Kahoku stood right there. I was just about to say our first big loss. And then I remember Jenkins the second we started playing. <laughs> I do apologise, Jenkins. I wish we kind I wish Jenkins died on that like, second mission so we could kind of get attached to him a little bit. Because I do feel bad, because I feel like that was the first loss from Shepard. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. What do you got? Uh oh, hang on. Uh Avenger 10. So let's compare that to what Ashley's got. And it's so much worse. So ignore that. Welcome back. I think I'll oh, for God's sake. Come on. Say, I'm not putting a gun on him. Good Jeez, day put it away. Welcome back. It's Earth me Clan. getting impatient and trying to Will press buttons. For your... Show me what you've got. So most excellent. Uh heavy armor Krogan. Fifty one five but oh wow, I should I just shouldn't even bother looking, should I? Grenade upgrade, I'll take that. And yeah, I mean the markets here have some pretty basic stuff. Um Oh, uh didn't Michelle have uh Michelle had some Metagel upgrades, that's what I'm trying to say. They were expensive at the time, but I kind of have unlimited money. So kinda of works. How can you be fatigued? Come on, run! You're the peak of military fitness and you can only sprint for like 12 seconds. Barely do a 100 meter dash. Hello. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? I need Let me supplies. take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Medical exoskeleton. Health regeneration, toxin resistance, reduction in power cooldown. Let's buy it. Medical interface, regeneration, toxin, we'll buy that as well. No need to buy the others, we'll just have those. And I'll replenish my Metagel because I saved your life and you owe me, so expensive Metagel. Nom 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 nom. Right, uh, it's a uh, fast travel here. I don't think I need to do a whole massive tour. I will just very quickly do an embassy, see if Anderson and Odina have anything to say. And if not, we'll head back to the Normandy and prep for Vermeer. Got to decide whether to go for Old Faithful, Caden and Ashley, who have grown a bit, of, a bit attached to, to be quite honest. Uh, my girlfriend. And the guy that is... At first I thought he was boring. And now I kind of see his place. It, it's kind of like me and a group of friends, to be quite honest. It's the level-headed one. The one that doesn't stand out, but the one that's always there. And if you want to talk, he's there. But he'll never just shove forth an opinion. I liked his story of the fact that he protected this girl, Rana, that he really liked. And he was, at, he, he was only a kid, like college kid, I'm guessing. Uh, English college, like... 16, 17, 18. Um, and then did a full biotic kick and killed a Turian and actually feels bad about it because the Turian was giving him shit, had a knife in his face, and then he protected this Rana. And he killed this Turian and he feels terrible about it. So he's a good person, he's a good natured person, and he's got that fire in him. And I'm still waiting for that, pri that, that private mission, if you want to call it that. Uh, the one that I did for Rex with the armor, the one that I did with Garrus, uh, for Dr. Hart, the one I did for Tally, for getting her um, the pilgrimage gift. Still waiting for Liara, Ash, and Cadence. Caden, I'm, I'm hoping I can introduce him to Rana again, because, you know, oh, we lost touch after we left Brain Camp, or but. Uh, Ashley is obviously still haunted by these these perceived failures of her family. And Liara, I don't know what Liara wants. Me, Liara wants me. Is uh, so that that's the mission is to 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 give her me and to not get shot in the face by Ashley as that happens. But I'm guessing it's something Prothean related. She was a Prothean archaeologist, maybe. 
maybe even the funeral of her mother. You know, it, it's difficult to say. But it, it's those that are kind of making me think that I'm nowhere near the end because I've still got to get them. Regardless. Yes, Commander. Kogu? Where can I find Admiral Kogu? Last I heard, he was up oh, in the... no. That's, Is there that's anything all else, the Commander? stuff I've done. Uh, anything for Vermeer? Do Vermeyer? you know anything about Vermeer? Sorry, Shepard. I've never even heard of it before all this. You okay? You'll have to How are you holding up? Honestly, but you're the one who can stop, Sam. Yeah. I believe That's... in you, Shepard. I should go. I'll be here if you Nothing need. more to say, and Udina's not here. Weirdly, I don't know where Udina is. Okay, well, there's nothing else to say. I guess we'll uh, head back to the Normandy. And then uh, prep for Vermeer. What are we at? Bordering on two-hour video. I guess that'll do. Uh, wards, I think it's CSEC. And there's a teleportation hub elevator. I have to say it's a teleportation hub because the elevators in Mass Effect are so slow. The one on the Normandy, we're traveling faster than light and it's just there going. It's strange. The Geth Ooh. are attacking and everyone around here is still worried about ordinary business. Let them stay ignorant. If our mission reaches the point where these people need to worry about the Geth, we've already lost. Yeah, you've got a point. Trust Rex to be a little dry in conversation there, but you have a point, sir. And there we have it, back to the majestic Normandy. Cleared off all the side missions. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Got this. Disinfect all of you. You are all very dirty. Logged. Just the realized that carry on films might not aboard. actually be uh, universal in relieved. countries, and Kenneth Williams might not be known. So that was just a weird noise for some of you. But uh, for those that know Kenneth Williams. Uh. You know what? Very, very quickly, just because it's 1 hour 53 minutes, although I will edit the beginning a little bit, um, and also the screams, the screams of the Thresher Moors I will edit out completely. I will be nothing but a man. Toxic masculinity in its finest. I just snarled at the Thresher Moor. It buckled. I cried. Uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll chat to, uh, Ashley, see if we've got any more progression, you know, maybe a little, uh, little flirty chat. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Threshamores? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. That's Pharos, isn't it? Given the option, I... We'll talk later, will we? We'll talk Looking later, because you're game. not talking. Garrus, got anything to say? Commander. I wanted to thank you. You've already said that. I don't have oh. time for this. Goodbye, <laughs> Commander. <laughs> okay, that is quite good. <laughs> See, I wanted to thank you. I don't have time for this. Oh. Looking for supplies? Okay. Yes. Let's see what you, you bet. Let's see what you got. I've got unlimited money, so. Uh, a tornado shotgun. It's pretty cool. Ah, but I can't compare it. I can't compare it to... I want to compare it to um, Tally. Because I've got... Uh, a... Oh, hang on. I bought another one of those, didn't I? So I can actually give Tally that. The assault rifle, I've got... Oh, I can buy another pistol. Yeah, there we go. Um, the assault rifle, Ashley's one's actually better. And the sniper rifle, I haven't taken Garrus out yet. So bearing in mind we've got all this, I am just going to take the chameleon tool, the light armor, and we'll leave it at that. Um, that is literally just because I have money to burn. And I just wanted to see whether that was better, but it's not not even close. The Colossus 9 so much better than the Duelist 10. Um, Okay, so I, I mean, I guess I kind of have to look out for uh, specific types. Like, if I see Colossus, it's better. If I see uh, Kolyatov, I just want to say Molotov. Molotov cocktail, Kolyatov cocktail. 
uh, or a Kolyatov mocktail. Have a non-alcoholic one. It's going to be um, better than the Hamwa series. But I digress. I want to keep playing. I genuinely want to keep playing. Uh, I really want to get to Vermeer, but we're at two hours, and uh, something tells me that a three, four hour video is going to take a long time to load up. And probably uh, take up all of my uh, space on my laptop. I've already had to actually take off Baldur's Gate 3, which is 100 gigabytes of a game. Um, basically D&D. &D. I absolutely love it. I am tempted after this to actually play that uh, and do a little let's play of that. I obviously won't be blind. I've played it to shit. But uh, by the time it comes out, uh, it's currently in sort of pre preview, uh, pre-play. Um, it's only level 1 to 4, and they're adding stuff constantly. So if I ignore it whilst I play this, then come back to it, there'll be a whole lot of new stuff. I have been wondering what to play after this. I've been told that Dragon Age is kind of this, plus D&D, &D, in that it's medieval kind of thing, which sounds amazing. So I'm very tempted to do Dragon Age, uh, which I think there's a trilogy of. Um, yeah, basically... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm in Mass Effect 1, and I'm already saying, oh, after Mass Effect 3 or Mass Effect 4, because I think it's 4, uh, I'll be playing this. Um, me just waffling on, trying to make the video two hours. But, yes, that'll be today, I think. And next time we will start off with the Journal of... Uh, we've got Protein Data Disk, Valuable Minerals, and okay, Signs of Battle... I think I'll do Vermeer before I do these. These are very much fetch quests. I don't particularly enjoy them. So, next time. We've got Race Against Time is the one we've had all the time, all the uh, missions so far. And Vermeer. Head to Vermeer and rendezvous with the Salarian team who have an unannounced emergency. Well, for me, that'll probably be a couple of days. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope I have my waffle hasn't been too boring. And I hope you have a fantastic week, guys. And as Critical Role say, don't forget to love one another. It's important in this very harsh, difficult time. So thank you and have a great week.